General Atomics, and Northeast Mississippi Community College. Diesel power technology is one of the most impactful industries around. At Northeast Mississippi Community College, students are getting trained to make a better life and a difference with diesel. WTVA's Th Kayla Thompson reports. I wanted a career that was rewarding. William Robertson is an Army veteran who was working to transition into civilian sure life in 2017. Once I was getting out, and I, I wanted a career that I could provide very well for my family. He decided to enroll in the Diesel Power Technology Program at Northeast Mississippi Community College. And Robertson says during the program, he was presented with job opportunities. I wanted a career that was rewarding and somewhere I could go anywhere and not just be stuck in one singular area in the world. In this class, students gain experience on a variety of equipment. Going up! And upon graduation, the sky is the limit. Instructor Jonathan Alexander says this is true for the majority of his students. Job placement is no trouble. Uh, go anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, for that matter of fact, and get a job in a diesel mechanic and field. Diesel mechanics will always be in demand because whether we know it or not, our lives are powered by diesel. Everything in this world revolves around a diesel engine at some point. Whether it's the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the med medicine you take, the fuel you put in your car, a diesel engine has touched that some way. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you have a major event occur like a hurricane or a disaster come through, those are diesel generators sitting there powering these hospitals and these nursing homes, keeping people alive. With such responsibility, diesel mechanics have to pay attention and know the ins and outs of the equipment. Instructor Alexander makes sure students get an up-close look at everything they will encounter in the field. <laughs> William Robertson has graduated and now works full-time using the skills he learned in this program and he's confident that he will stay in this industry for the long haul. Of course, I'm, I'm going to keep working at it, getting better at it every day. In Boonville, Kayla Thompson, WTVA 9 News.